Hello friend. Now we are going to discuss about geography paper first. That is 401 human geography. Now we have to discuss about relationship between man and environment. Human geography is the study of uh, man and his adjustment to natural environment is the widely accepted definition of human geography. Manvi Jivan wa Pariyavani Yancha Atishay Ghanishta Samandha Ahe. Manva Cha Sabotan Cha Paristhiti Cha Manjit Pariyavarana Cha Tya Cha Jivanavar Kadat Na Kadat Tachet Pratyaksh Wa Apratyaksh Parinam Hodasto. Manva Cha Shari Rachna Ahar व्यवसाय निवारा आचार विचार संस्कृती रूढी परंपरा इत्यादी सर्व गोष्टींवर पर्यावरणाचा परिणाम होतो यामुळेच जगातील विविध देशांमधील तसेच एका देशातील विविध प्रांतातील मानवी जीवन क्रमात विविधता आढळून येते एनवायरमेंटल चेंज is a continual process. There are numerous racial and eth uh, ethnic groups in the world and the geoclimatic conditions of the various parts of the earth and also differ from each other. When right from the primeval stage of a human development has been interacting with the physical environment. Early society uses or misuses its natural resources based according to its cultural stage and a technological advancement. Man has become transformer and creator of environment. For example, the mode of life type of pygmies differ from Badawnis of Saudi Arabia, the aboriginals of Australian desert and Eskimos of Tundra region have been compelled by their environment to practice hunting for their survival. Similarly, different human groups and uh, uh, groups, uh, different human groups are dependent for their survival on natural environment. These uh, variations in a lifestyle, in fact, are expressions of a man's adjustment. So, his natural uh, to his natural uh, man's adjustment to his his natural environment. The Impact of environment on man and his adaptation to physical environment have been emphasized by the Greek, Roman and Arab scholars. In other words, uh, man has to adopt with uh, uh, here, man has to adjust his environment for survival. In other words, man has to adopt with his physical environment. Man environment interaction has been one of the central theme of geography. Uh, Friedrich Ratzel and his uh, disciple, Miss uh, E.C. Sample, treated that the subject of geography as the study of man-environment relationship. The study of man-environment interaction has become a point regarding the position of man in relation to environment. That man is a part of environment or Apart from it, 
and then second issue is that to what extent man is affected by nature with the advancement of our technology the physical environment has been transformed by man up to some what extent as per his needs are concerned thus man and environment are related to one another environment determines lifestyle of man such as his customs tradition habits skin color dwelling and his activities all are influenced by environment man is also important agent of transforming the environment through his skills and technological advancement man with his efforts changing the environment as per his requirements and it is the possibilistic approach to study the relationship between man and environment then approaches of a human geography human geography consists of a number of approaches that focuses on different elements of a human activity and relations these approaches are like well-being approach scientific approach welfare approach applied approach behavior approach about the well-being approach human well-being is found to be disappearing in the race and pace of progress developed countries are heading uh, faster and uh, backward countries are even devoid of the satisfaction of a basic needs developing uh, countries like uh, india possesses its a half of the population uh with uh, uh sufficient uh, food and uh, shelters in spite of uh, having uh, resources like uh, water mineral and uh, land developed countries are uh, interested to maintain their powers over strategic uh, regions resources and uh, key positions human values uh, and uh, moral find no place uh, at the cost of uh, power and greed many problems uh, on local regional and global scale cannot uh, be cannot be separated in terms of a human geography for the example global warming and climate change are the global problems and uh, cannot be controlled unless all concerned countries come together and uh, bear the responsibility human geography with its well-being approach may highlight the solutions in a better way then another approach is a scientific approach human geography puts positive emphasis with the scientific approaches on a human act man is transformer of his physical environment today and a decision maker about his environment whether these opportunities are to be properly used or robbed away depends on man many problems faced by man are his own problems responsibility to examine these problems seriously rates on man only these problems are solved by human through skills techniques and a level of civilization etc another approach is a welfare approach it is useful approach to solve various problems faced today in the world these are 
like uh, provide capacity to all round logical analysis of man environment problems focusing the quality of a human life rationally utilization of resources means uh, with care proper guidance about methods and techniques for evaluation of human acts and policy uh, formation preservation of uh, human values sound understanding of human life organization in space then applied approach applied approach of the subject proves that human geography is quite useful in planning conservation of resources and policy frames for all round development of any region in the world human sense of place or environment needs constant assessment human geography makes inquiry about uh, human acts that upset the equilibrium of uh, environment then behavior approach it is an approach to human geography and uh, in a particular to the process responsible from human special behavior which uh, especially draw on a behavior uh, behaviorism or on cognition as a, a key to understanding human special behavior the behavior approach of human geography is based on four assumptions and uh, these assumptions are main are rational while taking decision men make choices choices are made on the basis of knowledge information is evaluated to pre determined criteria and so on next we will continue thank you